Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. In 2006, Hero made a bold statement by launching the Pleasure and keeping a tagline of "Why should boys have all the fun?" And 2015, they actually discontinued the scooter only to bring it back this year. And recently they launched it with a comprehensive update. But what's new? Well, let's find out. The design of the Pleasure has been updated. At the front, you get a retro-themed headlight. The front apron has also been updated, but the front mudguard remains more or less the same. At the rear, you get a smaller H-shaped tail light. Meanwhile, it gets seven colors, which is the maximum in an entry-level scooter. Some of the colors are matte, and some of them are gloss, and they are really eye-catching. Unfortunately, Hero hasn't given the cluster of the Pleasure a comprehensive update. It remains more or less the same as before but gets a new background. You only get a speedometer and odometer and a fuel gauge. There's also a side stand indicator now. Since the scooter gets AHO, there is no switch for the headlight and all the switches on the scooter seem very basic. On the practicality front, this scooter gets a pocket below the handlebar on each side. The underseat storage is also decent, and the footboard area is accommodating for short to medium-sized riders. Tall riders won't be very comfortable, and the footboard area is a bit slippery as well. The Hero Pleasure now gets a new engine with higher displacement resulting in 16% more power and 7% increase in torque output while the weight remains the same as before. Thus, the scooter feels much more peppy now. Performance is great till 60 km per hour post which it struggles but it will do a top speed of 85 km per hour. The motor is very refined and smooth and this 8 horsepower engine does the job for city riding. Power delivery is very linear. Throttle response is constant throughout the rev range, and you don't really feel any lag in spite of this being only a 110 cc scooter. This lightweight scooter should return a mileage of close to 50 kilometers per liter. The Hero Pleasure uses the same underpinnings as its predecessor which means that it misses out on telescopic front forks. Overall ride is pretty good but if you encounter a bad patch on the road there's too much jerkiness which can affect your lower back. The Seat tires on the scooter offer good grip and this is a very maneuverable scooter making it easy to park and ride in the city. While braking performance is decent there is no option of disc brake but there is an option of alloy wheels. The Hero Pleasure has been aimed at the female buying audience, but we men had a lot of fun riding it. Yes, it does feel a little too basic in certain areas, but then it is an entry-level scooter and is priced very attractively as well. Thus, for those looking for an entry-level scooter with a lot of bang for the buck, the Hero Pleasure Plus does appeal a lot to the fairer sex out there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Motivine channel.